are again coming to you live from the gym in Salmon Park, New Mexico. This is a 343 commitment and still counting. 110 floors for Brooklyn's Dean Street, lot of 105. Housed there with engine 219 for probationary firefighter Dennis O'Berg. Our brother barely had seven and a half months on with the FDNY before he responded on 9-11. This 110 floors is to finish the footsteps, take them all the way to the top. This climb is dedicated to his wife, Christine, and a dedication to his father, Lieutenant Retired Dennis O'Berg. With the FDNY, he was actually on Ladder 114 on 9-11 response. He retired on 9-11 to try to find his son Dennis. He uh, was part of a group called the Band of Dads who also include, included the late Captain John Mediano who was there searching for John and Joseph. So for our brother who I'll get into the story in just a little bit. It's taking him up to the top for firefighter Dennis O'Berg, ladder 105, Dean Street, out of Brooklyn. So before he actually joined the FDNY, our brother had uh, graduated from State University of New York, SUNY. I guess it's called Janice Sale. Is the right way of saying it? With a degree in accounting. And he worked for Ernst & Young, which was a top four accountancy firm that he worked for. But it said he felt chained down in accounting and he wanted to do more. So he followed his father's footsteps, Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg, with the FDNY. 31 years of service when his son Dennis went into the academy. Dennis was 28 years old and had almost had a year of marriage to his wife, Christine, who he would uh, take long stem roses to her, take her on trips up the North Shore and uh, picnics and just spend a lot of time together. Our brother's young life was cut short, along with so many others, because of 9-11, because the terrorist attacks, their bravery saved upwards of 25,000. We will never forget. We will always remember. That is why we climb to keep their memories alive. Our brother was an avid fan of the New York Rangers, loved Norman Rockwell, was very much into the Star Wars trilogy, and loved Harry Potter. This 110 floors is given an honor and respect of the sacrifices that were made so that others could live. 
This is now the 240th climb. 103 to go for this original 343 commitment. Before the end, still counting. We'll start going up in their own 110th floor memorial climbs. Those who work the pile for days, weeks, and months until fruition. So resolved. This is why we climb. Our brother was an accountant with Ernst and Young. Never really wanted to be a firefighter initially, but once he got on the job, he absolutely loved it. He had seven and a half months with the FDNY before responding. He responded on ladder 105 there in Brooklyn at Dean Street, housed there with engine 219. And his father, Dennis Oberg, a lieutenant with uh, ladder 114, responded as well. Lieutenant Oberg put in 31 years of service. prior to 9-11, to which he retired to try to find Dennis. He became part of the Band of Dads, a group of fathers who was searching for their sons, one of which was Captain John Vigiano, who passed away from 9-11 cancer looking for his sons, John, from the FDNY, and Joseph, with the NYPD. Right now, he's going vertical. Dennis O'Berg, ladder 105. Taking him all the way to the top. This is the 343 commitment and still counting. Carrying him up to the top of the tower, symbolically. Going with me there. One thing I read regarding his father, as I said, he retired with 31 years of service to the FDNY. He worked the pile, looking for Dennis. And one thing I did read was that he had a prayer card that is attached to the last column, signed, and uh, with Dennis's name and ladder 105, permanently affixed. To the last column. We will not forget those sacrifices made on and after 9-11-2001. This climb is dedicated to Christine, his wife, who they would have celebrated their first anniversary on September 28th. To his father, retired Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg. Your son's legacy will not be forgotten. This is why we climb. To keep their memories alive. Pushing them all the way up, with honor and respect given. For the sacrifices that were made, for upwards of 25,000 were saved. Retired Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg was said to have responded on the ladder 114. He had arrived five minutes 
before the South Tower collapsed in Manhattan. His son Dennis will not be forgotten. As I said before, he graduated from the uh, State University of New York at Geneseo with a uh, degree in accounting. Worked for the top four accountancy, Ernst & Young, until he felt that he was chained to his desk and he wanted more. So he joined his father's footsteps. Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg joined the FDNY, was appointed, and in his probationary period, assigned to Dean Street out of Brooklyn, ladder 105, into 219. My brother, his legacy will live on. An avid fan of the New York Rangers, a fan of the Star Wars trilogy, a fan of Harry Potter, a fan of his wife, and giving her long stem roses, leaving her love notes, taking her on picnics and drives up the North Shore. They were from uh, Babylon, New York, which is, from what I understood, is right around Long Island. He wanted to be a father, have a family, but like I said, because of response to the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil, as part of the greatest rescue effort in U.S. history, our brother's life was cut short. They went strong. They did what they had to. And the sacrifice that came with it, upwards of 25,000 were saved because of bravery and heroism that was shown that day and the days that have come after with the Ansel County. For our brother, probationary firefighter, Dennis O'Berg. He was going on seven and a half months with the FDNY. Pushing him up with honor and respect given. This 110 is his from Lotto 105, Dean Street, out of Brooklyn, housed within the 219. Dedicated to his wife Christine and his father, retired Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg, Lotto 114. Part of the Band of Dads. We will not forget. We will always remember. This is why we climb. Going to that 110th floor. Gonna reach that top for our brother who was 28 years old, his life was cut short. One of 343 before the end still counting.
Over halfway now. Three verticals left on this climb. This 100 and 10th floor memorial climb. Number 240 is going vertical. 10 more and we'll hit the next milestone in this journey. For firefighter, Dennis Oberg, ladder 105. We will go all the way to the top. It's 110th floor. Symbolic top of those towers is where we're climbing. For his wife, Christine, his extended family, dedicated to his retired father, Lieutenant Dennis Oberg, 31 year veteran of the FDNY. He retired on 9-11 to focus on finding a son at Ground Zero. Three verticals left on this 110th floors for our brother, New York Rangers fan, Harry Potter fan, Star Wars Trilogy, and Norman Rockwell. From Babylon, out of Long Island area, New York, this 110 is for firefighter Dennis Oberg. Pushing him up with honor and respect given. This is his memorial climb. His legacy brought forward. This is why we climb. To always remember to never forget. And right now it's his. Out of 10, all the way to the top. Again, for his wife, Christine, who they would have celebrated their first year anniversary of marriage on September 28th. To his father, retired Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg, who responded on letter 114 on 9-11. 31 year veteran, retired. Pushing him up. Last two verticals coming up on this 110 floors. For our brother right here, Dennis O'Berg. Graduated from SUNY Geneseo State University of New York at Geneseo with a uh, degree in accounting. Works with Ernst & Young, a top four firm in accounting. And decided it was time to change, to follow his father's footsteps. He joined the FDNY and was assigned to Ladder 105, housed within the 219 there on Dean Street in Brooklyn. Our brother was only 28 years old. Ladder 105 responded. They gave it their all. Just like every other unit that responded to 9-11 and the terrorist attack. 
Average of 25,000. We're saved. Because of those heroic and brave actions. So for that, we honor and remember. We climb to finish our footsteps as those who went before us. Now we're on the second to last vertical on this 110th floors. For firefighter Dennis O'Berg, we're going all the way. Ladder 105, Dean Street is headed up. Pushing him all the way. Second to last vertical. Going to the 110th. Last vertical. Put us around the 101st floor. So, shortly after that, we'll be there. Going vertical, as we speak. For the Abbott Ranger fans, who love Norman Rockwell, watching the Star Wars trilogy, and Harry Potter. Dennis O'Berg is gonna reach that top. Pushing them up with honor and respect all the way. This 96 hour tour that I'm working, third climb of the 96. So 330 floors in four days. For firefighter Dennis O'Berg, this is his. I'm just the vessel to carry him there and give his story. All the honor and respect to the FDNY, those who were at 9-11, and those who come since to law enforcement, to the ordinary citizen who joined in to help. It's all for you all. Dedicated to his wife, Christine, his father, retired Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg, letter 114, and uh, to our country, because so many are for, trying to forget what happened on and after 9-11. 2001. We cannot let that happen. It is a moment that will never go away. We have to remember the sacrifices made so that others could live. This is now the 240th climb with 103 left. Counting it down. Ten more brothers till we reach the next milestone. Pushing them up. All the way to the top. For firefighter Dennis O'Berg, ladder 105, out of Brooklyn, Dean Street, out there with engine 219. Pushing him all the way to the top. Symbolically, going to reach those top towers. This is why we climb. So their legacy will always be known. At least on here, as long as Facebook will have it. 
There's a chronological record. People won't be able to see and know who these brothers were. Pushing them up. Go in there. Towards that hundred and tenth floor. Closer and closer to the top we go. So for our brother who graduated with a degree in accounting from State University of New York, the Geneseo, to his wife Christine, who they were about to celebrate their first wedding anniversary on 928. We will never forget. Now, last few floors. Pushing them up until we reach eight more floors to the top. Going to the 110th. Today is the last day of my 96 hour tour. This is the 330th floor on completion. Three climbs during this tour. They will never be forgotten. Our brothers and those who came after are my heart, are my mind, all the time. This is why we climb, to honor and remember. Our brother had seven months to seven and a half months on. Just barely came out of the academy as a probationary firefighter with the FDNY. Was 28 years old. My life cut short in service to our, the city of New York and our country. We will never forget. His father, retired Lieutenant Dennis O'Berg, responded on letter 114. Gave 31 years of service before he retired to look for Dennis on ground zero. Was part of the band of dads a support group of all the fathers who were looking for their first responders. He was with the late Captain John Vigiano, who died from 9-11 cancer while searching for his son in the FDNY, John, and his son in the NYPD, Joseph, the brothers, the Vigiano brothers. A promise made a promise kept. We will never forget. We will always remember for his wife, Christine, dedicated to her, his father, his extended family, to the FDNY, off and on the line, and to our country. This has been 100 and 10 floors for Firefighter Dennis O'Berg. Thank you for joining me. And right here, we're at the 110. Brother, Dennis O'Berg, rest easy. We got it from here.